example 1 show that the following functions are 1 to 1 function. Question A, fx is equal to 3x minus 2, x element of real number. This graph is a linear graph. B, gx is equal to x power of 3 plus 7, x element of real number. And this graph is a cubic graph. C, fx is equal to x squared plus 1, x in real number. This graph is a quadratic graph. How to solve fx is equal to 3x minus 2 as element of r. We can use method 1, which is algebraic approach. To use algebraic approach, we have to use fx1 is equal to fx2. And then we have to show x1 is equal to x2. Okay, how to solve this? We have to write fx1 is equal to fx2. And then we uh, insert the function of fx which is 3x1 minus 2 is equal to 3x2 minus 2. Then, you got 3x1 is equal to 3x2. Finally, you got x1 is equal to x2. Hence, fx is 1 to 1 function because the answer is x1 is equal to x2. Other method to show it is 1 to 1 function by using method 2 which is horizontal line test. To use horizontal line test, we have to draw the graph. Okay, you draw the graph of y is equal to 3x minus 2. And then you have to draw horizontal line. So, when you draw the horizontal line, it only cut at one point. So, if the graph, uh, if the horizontal line intersect the graph, at only one point, it means fx is 1 to 1 function. Question B, gx is equal to x power of 3 plus 7 as element of real number. Okay, we can use horizontal line test. Before we use the horizontal line test, we have to know the shape of the graph. Okay, the graph is x power of 3, it means it's cubic graph. Okay, after we draw the graph, we do the horizontal line. Okay, it should it only cut at only one point. Therefore, this function is one to one function. Okay, for question C, fx is equal to x squared plus one, x element of r. We can use algebra approach or graphical approach, but I would like to use algebra approach. Okay, if you want to use algebra approach, we have to write fx1 is equal to fx2. And then you have to put the function of fx, which is x1 square plus 1 is equal to x2 square plus 1. So, we got x1 square is equal to x2 square. Okay, so the answer is x1 is equal to plus minus x2. How to get plus minus x2? Okay, when you want to move uh, x square to the right hand side, so, you put the square root of here, x square, x square, x2 of square, sorry, okay, square root of uh, x square, you got plus minus x of 2. So, it is not one to one function. Properties of inverse function, if f inverse exists, then f inverse is a one-to-one -one function. Domain of f inverse is equal to range of f. Range of f inverse is equal to domain of f. And graph of f inverse is the reflection of graph f on the line y is equal to x. Method of finding the inverse function by using formula f f inverse x is equal to x. So you have to remember this formula. Okay, note that f inverse of inverse is equal to f. Second one, f inverse of f is equal to x or f f inverse x is equal to x. It is equal. And the last one, f composite g inverse is equal to g inverse of f inverse.